Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose. This here is Douglas Maiden Ford, our resident Dutchman. How are you, Doug? Pretty, pretty darn good. I just had a craft beer Did before you? we came on. Well, hot diggity, it shows. <laughs> All right, well, are you ready for our question today? I'm always ready for a question. Well, this question comes in from Maria Schreier of Facebook Land. Facebook Land? Yeah. yeah. And she says, hey, once, how did a dumb Dutchman get such a pretty looking woman? I got a question now. Well, yeah, me too. What's your question? Well, which one of us is the dumb Dutchman? I. I always thought it Wow, this is pretty, pretty deep. I, I don't. Are we supposed to be offended at that? I don't know. Was she insulting I, us? What? How, How do we get such pretty women, though? I I know when I want to get a pretty woman, I just throw on a real thick accent. So you think it's our accents? It could be. I, I, I try to tame mine down so that I can get along with the normal world. But if I really want to, I could put a thick one on, and that's how I get to ladies. And then if you I really want to get a lady, say, May leave it to Hira. Oh, sing it. I think, well... I'm still a little stuck on that. <laughs> I, I, get, I thought you were the dumb one. Well, here it is. I thought you were the dumb one. I mean, you're the one with the pretty wife. I mean, maybe, it's gotta be. Maybe we're both dumb. Oh, jeez. Wow, that's an eye-opener. Let... I... How did I get my pretty woman? Well... I don't know. I wish my wife was here that she could answer No, the well, maybe she's making fun of the wife for picking a dumb Dutchman. This, was it Maria? Yeah, Maria of Facebook land. Maybe she's one of those Russian trolls. Oh, could be, who knows. No, maybe we shouldn't say that. No, maybe not. Because with a Schreier I, last name, that's, that's, that's Dutch, she definitely not a Russian. I, you know, I think, well, I, I think being a little different is attractive. You said about an accent. Well, that's something different. I think people like different thing. Well, if you think about it, it's got to be the accent because, you know, every no, time you, yeah, go ahead. Every okay. time you talk to a girl, you say, "Hey, what's the sexiest accent ever?" and they pick like the the James Bond like British accent. Yeah, but I don't have a British accent. Yeah, but maybe PA Dutch accent is a little bit better. It's like the hidden gem out of all. Of them. It's absolutely irresistible because it's so, you know, <sighs> strange. You know, you might be on to something. It's like a there. foreigner but next door. So you got that guy next door feel with a foreign accent, but it's really not. Perfect. That's got to be it. It's, it's like a foreign accent, but it's not. Mm-hmm. With that next do guy next door feel. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it. Yeah, if, you know. If we're out working, like, you know, making something out of wood in the yard with saw horses and saws and stuff. got Because that happens every day. It happens all the time. Yeah. You know, we got our shirts off. We got yeah. our, our, uh, you know, our tool belt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then all these girls walking by, and they're like, wow, that guy's pretty sharp looking. And then yeah. you say, hey, be fish. And yeah. then that's it. That's game over. You got her. Well, She's hooked. But I... You really think that's it? That's the only logic I can come up with. Well, what about a guy that can cook really well? I mean, or can sing? Anybody can cook real well. You know, you told butter. me one time. You told me one time that the way to a woman's heart is by playing a banjo. Well, that's true too. Now, if you play a banjo with a PA Dutch accent and then cook her dinner with a pound of butter, you are in. That's marriage. Next week. Did you know that one of my first dates included a pound of butter? <laughs> it could be true. You know, accents are... There, there is that mystique, right? About it. There's that mystique. Something a little different. No, no. But how, did your first, how did your first date work? I we had, we had a clam bake. Oh. We had butter. Well, that, that makes clam. sense. No, so it's clams too. Those are a pretty big date catcher. Yeah. Now, are clams a PA Dutch thing? Do you get a lot of clams in PA Dutch? No, they come from the ocean. Well, you know, every PA Dutch family I know does a clam bake in the summer. Yeah. Like, why is that? I. Because they're good? And they get the ladies. Maybe. That's the only way to make girls come to your I party. think accent might be the answer, though. Yeah. And that's what makes me mad because, you know, a lot of people in my generation that are Pennsylvania Dutch. 
they they lost the accent oh, because yeah. somebody told him, "Oh, you sound dumb if you talk like that." Well, that's like the that. thing. My dad but, said that he he got rid of his accent completely because he got sick of people saying "dumb Dutchman," and so he's like, "Well, yeah, I, I got, got rid of it." Yeah, but then you got people like Maria that. Yo, oh, how'd a dumb Dutchman like you get a pretty woman? With our accent, so maybe well, we ought to get it back. So, if I guess, and maybe it works the opposite too. If a guy, if a if a guy wants to get a if a guy wants to get a pretty girl, you know, the girl should have a Pennsylvania Dutch accent too. We need a lady Dutchman on the show. Dutch woman, lady Dutchman. Maybe we should at some point. We'll have to talk to people. Yeah, we need to. We're taking an yeah. interview. Send an yeah. application. Yeah, think about that. But I, maybe it is an accent. It's an accent are, it is that it's a little different. But well, they, they speak English, yeah, yeah. And from Pennsylvania. If you are in the market for a relationship, maybe you should start watching our videos slowly and try to mimic our accent. Yeah, I'll start putting mine back in. Let us know how that works out for you. Well, I think that's it's, right. I don't so, know what else to say. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so we'll give you a slide in phrase, like you're at the bar, and there's, oh, a, yeah, pretty, there's yeah. a pretty woman at the bar, and you're like, oh, oh, I, I want to go talk to her. You walk up, and, and what, what what should they say? Well, you can walk up and say, uh, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, yeah. Can I buy you a drink? Yeah. Can I buy you a drink? How late are you staying out tonight? How late are you staying out tonight? Do you? Yeah. And you so, gotta, you gotta really kind of make it rising inflection. Well, yeah, we we Pennsylvania Dutch, we sing a little bit. Yeah, we well, sing song. How, how, how late are you staying out tonight? How late are you staying out tonight? And then you know, throw like, madel, madel. Oh, that's that's throw a Pennsylvania that's Dutch word, word there. there. Yeah. Maybe it'll work. Or I say, we are not responsible if you get slapped though. Oh yeah, no, yeah. That, that doesn't matter. But I think we try it. It's an experiment. Or you can, if you're really feeling really, you know, bold, bold, you can walk up to her and say, "Hey, I'm gonna ask the Belschnickel for you for Christmas." Oi, oh my name. And if she knows what that, if she yeah. gets that, you marry her right now. Buy, you buy her that drink. You know, it also works in reverse. The lady Dutch women could go up to Dutch guys and say, say the same oh, thing. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, that's not a set. That's not gender specific. No. I mean, you could be really body and say, I'll be the bell to your schnickel. What? <laughs> <laughs> I could be the bell to your schnickel. You oh, we need t shirts. We need t-shirts. Can I be the bell to your schniggle? Yeah. I am not suggesting you say that at first. I am. Maybe that I work am. that in a little later <laughs> as the as the night goes on. Oh gosh. Yeah. I oh, And maybe yeah. bring a pond of butter just in case. <laughs> Whew. Thanks, Maria. You know, I hope we answered your question. I think we're gonna stick by it. Say it's our accent. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, you heard it from the Dutchman. Anything else you'd like to say, Doug? No, just keep talking like us, and then you'll be okay. All right. So, until next time, Mox good. Mox good. If you have a question, why you have to email us at BusterPA at Yahoo.com.